would you believe me if I told you that every light in my room is on and it's pitch black dark? Okay, just kidding, that light is not on because I have no light bulbs that fit that. And I'm using the Alex Earl light literally just to record this video. But anyways, today I have a hair appointment. I literally just got my hair done a week ago yesterday. And I got my hair like tinted red. I got a gloss on it, washed it one time and the gloss fully came out of my hair. My hair doesn't do well with really anything that is out of the ordinary for like what I usually get. So I was like, I will take you guys along. I'm actually recording on my phone because my camera, it takes 12 and a half years to get my um, footage from my camera onto YouTube and I don't know why. So I was like, I needed to get this up. We'll do a quick little video. Also a portion of today's video is sponsored by Vici which is so exciting. I'm also doing a TikTok with them. So I show all the looks and like everything I got in that TikTok so I can have it linked down below for you guys. But anyways, I figured I would take you along today, show you my hair, all the good things, and then show you some pieces I'm getting or I got from Beachy for the fall, for like fall transitional pieces. Just really cute pieces in general because I'm trying to make my wardrobe not so extensive. And let me tell you something, it's extensive. So that's what we're doing. I know the lighting is like a little crazy, but it's also kind of a vibe. You know, kind of a little cozy, cozy vibe. Also, I just need new lights in my room because let's be honest. But anyways, I want to show you some of these pieces. A lot on over there so you guys can see a little bit better. Paint them onto my messy room. It's literally all from filming. But anyways, these are my absolute favorite pair of pants I probably own. I'm five foot ten. They fit me really, really well. Like they're probably a mid-rise, I would say. Um, could definitely be high rise on somebody. And I ordered these a size up. So usually in jeans, I wear a 26, which is a two. And I ordered these in a size four because I want them to be a little bit baggy. I feel like cargo jeans aren't meant to be like super snug. So I love these. I feel like a lot of cargo jeans just don't have a good style to them. And these really do. Um, I don't know. I just love them. I think they fit really good. I love the wash of them. I love how they look. I love that they're actually long enough for me. And then the back pockets are really cute. And I think a lot of times in cargo jeans, the back pockets aren't cute. Side pockets are a little sketch. I love the design on the front with the big pockets like this. These, like, they just fit really well. So, I love that. I also just popped on the sweater so you guys could see. I wanted just, like, basic fall sweaters that I could throw on with everything. And it would just be, like, perfect. You know what I mean? So, this one is a mock neck. So, it's not super tight around your neck or anything like that. You have plenty of room. And it's cropped but not unflattering cropped. Like, it's just the perfect amount. I love the sleeves. I love the way it looks. I feel like it's just like your perfect everyday fall sweater. So I'm going to have everything that I got from Beachy linked down below so you guys can shop it. And then I also have a discount code with them, which I can put on the screen and also have in the description box below. And it gets you 25% off, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's 25% off, which is a lot. So make sure you guys use that whenever you're shopping with them. The only thing is it excludes final sale items. Um, and But other than that, like, I'll have all the information linked down below. And all of the things that I got, as well as the sizes, will be linked down below for you guys. Because they have, like, a little storefront on there where you can shop everything that I got. So, that's that. We love that. Okay, update. This freaking pimple on my face. <laughs> Anyways, it's terrible. I wasn't planning to vlog. Um, but then I decided that I would because I was like, I need to call about a car. So, honestly, I just had to pay my taxes for 2022 which really, really sucked because I got to write off a lot of stuff, but I still owed a enormous, ginormous amount of taxes to the government. It made me want to throw up. And also me and Chase just went to breakfast <clears throat> and I devoured a sandwich and it was wonderful and delicious. And they have such good coffee. It's this little coffee. It's the place I always show. But anyways, so I was like, I need to spend money so that I don't have to pay the government $1 billion next year. And then like, also I've been doing social media full time this year. And last year, I just, the only income I had was from Fawn Beauty. So, I need to spend some coin, pretty much. So, I don't owe $1 billion. And so, Saturday, so today's Thursday. Saturday, I'm going to purchase a car, which I've already looked at this car for a really long time. But then the last time, I had an appointment in Louisville and went to go look at it. Also, yesterday, I got my hair done. Um, you can't really tell all that much since my hair's up. But, yeah, I did get my hair done again to get the red out of it. And get my like normal color back which i don't even think that it's like back to my full normal color but i haven't washed it yet so anyways that's that but also this i just can't even take myself seriously with this freaking pimple but that's what's happening so i figured i would maybe vlog on saturday i don't know i should though me and chase should vlog we should do a q a we should be like you know cute but anyways i'm gonna think i'm gonna go pick up my new car that day and then sell this car but i'm not gonna trade it in but i'm gonna call them on the phone as we speak to ask them if they will take a certain amount for that car if I do their financing and if they have um, 
primary, not primary, what's it called? It's some sort of specific financing where you can pay it off and not have, like if you pay it off quick, you don't have to pay their interest. Anyway, that's, that's the update. I feel like this is the vlogging spot, not this leaf. Okay, so I just got home, clearly. Actually, I guess that's not clear. Anyways, I just got home and um, I had all these packages from Amazon. I mean, not show my address on here. And I was like, who on God's green earth ordered all that stuff? It was literally me. But anyway, all this stuff is stuff to make homemade body butter because I was telling literally everybody, if they'll listen to me, anything that you can smell or anything that is artificial that you're putting on your body has a full of chemicals, phthalates, parabens, sulfates, etc., is literally terrible for you and messes with your hormones. And so I was like, that's the last thing I want. Also, I literally just went with Chase to a doctor's appointment and he got his hormones tested and I really didn't do the same thing. But if you're a woman, you need to go on the 14th day of your cycle. And um, so obviously I didn't get that done. Oh, deodorant, love this deodorant so much. This is the Donna Karen. I've talked about it before. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. This is so phenomenal and I was about to run out. So I was like, let me just pick up some more. But anyways, I use body butter every single day of my life and like all these things that have fake fragrance in them and don't get me wrong, I'm not getting rid of my um, like perfume, I would just never. But if I can minimize the amount that I'm using of things on my body that are artificial, of course I want to do that. And so I got all the stuff to make body butter at your house. And I've seen a bunch of people do it. Catherine Lockhart posted a TikTok tutorial on how she makes hers. But I like a lot of people use coconut oil and that's just extremely comedogenic even for my body. Like it gives me chest bumps and stuff. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I got these cute little jars to put it in. How cute are these? They're adorable. These cute little amber jars. So I can package it and have it in an amber glass jar. And have all my body butters and i got six of them so i feel like i'll be able to make quite a bit and i got a bunch of different scents with essential oils from amazon as well so if you guys want i will make like an amazon storefront and put it in there as like organic body butter and then i will probably do a tutorial on like how i'm making it or like at least a video how i'm making it it might take me a few times to get like the recipe perfect because i don't want it to be greasy so a lot of people were saying they put arrowroot powder in it I was like, okay, that makes sense. And um, some people use like beeswax and stuff, but I was like, I don't really want to use that. Like, not my bob. But I was like, I could put a little bit of honey in it because we have natural honey. My um, aunt and uncle have a hive that they get honey from. I got a double boiler, a little double boiler. So I could, you know. Honestly, in my head, this was way bigger, but I guess it's not. But it is what it is. So. I'm literally so excited and I wish all the other stuff would have come today, but I think it's coming tomorrow. This is tiny. This is a tiny little pot, but anyways, so that's why I got all this stuff and I'm so excited to make it and I hope I love it. Like, I hope I love it more than like Bath and Body Works and stuff, you know? Also, I have been feeling so not confident lately because of my freaking eyebrows. Like, I swear to you, when I don't have my eyebrows done, it is heinous. It's literally heinous. I got my hair done. Didn't really like my hair because it was red. And then after I, wa I washed it one time, like all the red went away. So then it was just dark and I was like, I don't look great with all dark hair. I need some like light put back into it. So that was that, got that done. Felt better about that. My spray tan started coming off today, getting a spray tan. My nails are fresh, thank God. Literally like, if not, I don't know what I'll be doing. So tomorrow I'll have a fresh spray tan. I'll do a blowout to my hair. I'll have my eyebrows done. And my nails will be fresh nails. And I just hope that I'm acting up all day long. I hope that I have an attitude all day long. On Saturday, go and pick up my new car. I'm actually waiting on the guy to call me back um, to tell me what, like I asked him about financing through them. I think I told you this, a simple interest finance loan. So if I can like pay it, so if I, <clears throat> excuse me, pay it off quick, I don't have to pay like some sort of crazy penalty or something. Oh, I also got this magnesium oil. I got this for, um, body butter and then also chase obviously plays if you don't know who chase this is my boyfriend but i feel like everybody knows that but anyways he plays um baseball professionally and so he's during season you know playing six games a week being at the field for 12 hours a day 
So he, he's always complaining of like his muscles and like legs and everything hurting. And a lot of people love this for, for that, for like muscle aches, joint aches, pain, that sort of thing. And I was like, well, that'd be really good to put in a moisturizer if he will actually use one. I don't know that he will, but nevertheless, I got that. This is the literally just magnesium oil. So I thought that would be good. I got Arnica, anything for like inflammation, anti-aging, hydrated, gorgeous skin. That's what I got. Um, but I gotta go take a shower and scrub this tan off. I hope you guys will be able to see. Can you see how bad it looks? It's just not the vibe. And my eyebrows are so light and it's just like killing me. And I know that today's the last day I have to deal with it. But between that and my pimple, I'm just like, who is this girl? Okay, I'm literally editing this vlog slash video slash not the bats. Not the bats. Anyway, I'm editing this video. And I was like, half of the <laughs> half of the content, like I filmed that portion that you just saw earlier like an hour ago and I took a shower and exfoliated all of my body and like have been working and editing videos and like sending them over for approval and everything and also got the cutest hats from 112 so if you don't shop at 112 they have really cute stuff also my pimple does look a little better so that's exciting but anyways um I'm also putting a makeup video in this vlog why you might ask I don't know. I just felt like it. You know, I felt like the makeup video couldn't stand alone. I felt like the vlog couldn't stand alone. Put them together. Boom. It's like a semicolon. You know what I mean? They can't stand together. They can't stand alone, so they stand together. Does that even make sense? Anyway, so here's the makeup video. I know it doesn't make any sense to be like this, but roll with it. Low-key, I kind of feel like I forgot how to do an intro to a YouTube video. Doing those is my least favorite thing to do anyways. So, anyways, today I am going to do my makeup, except I'm going to do it with a bunch of products that I haven't used in a hot minute. I feel like I've been extremely boring with the makeup that I've been using because I just have my makeup bag. And whatever is in here has stayed the same, and there's really been no new products added into it that I've talked about for, like, months. And I feel like for somebody who loves makeup as much as I do and, like, gets ready films, etc., I've just been sticking with the basics. But I have some new things to add in today, so I was like, I figured I would film it, do some little updates. I have tons of filming to do. I have lots of hauls to do after this as well. So if you guys are interested in, like, fall clothing hauls and that, all that, then we'll get into that. But anyways, also I've used the heck out of this product and I wanted to talk about it. This is the Say Super Glowy Gel. And this is in the shade Star Glow. I've used a crap ton of it, as you can tell. I just love it. I love a glowy base. And I think a lot of the products I'm going to use today are very much so glowy based products. And I was just telling Chase that like I... It's one of those seasons, you know, where like I'm pale now. And I feel horrible when I'm pale. Not only that, but like my um, lash serum, which I love and ride or die by my lash serum, made my little old, made my little eyes, made my little eyes, made my eyes a little bit red and it's just not the bob. So I'm hoping today that like I just feel cute. You know what I mean? Like that's the goal. Feel cute today. Um, today's Tuesday. I just got back from Nashville yesterday evening about six o'clock or so because me and Chase went to go see SZA and it was truly one of the greatest experiences of my entire life not even being dramatic. It was absolutely phenomenal. She's a wonderful performer. It was the best concert I've ever been to. Nashville, like, you would expect Nashville to be like, okay, country music, you know, all the things. Also, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Uh, Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade 7. Is this shade 7? Shade 5, medium tan. I've not used this in probably 73 years, but I'm excited because I'm going to use it, like, as a bronzer. Whoa, that's too much. Anyways, so I told him I was like I really want to go to this as a concert well we ended up just kind of forgetting that it was a thing and we were sitting there last week and I was like oh my gosh this is a concert is literally Sunday night and I really want to go so I found tickets bought them booked a room point blank period that was out so he picked me up on Sunday and we drove to Nashville went to the concert it was I'm telling you guys it was so good I love SZA obviously or I wouldn't be there but like he has listened to her music with me a bunch but even he was like, that was such a good concert. He was entertained the whole time. She just did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. So, shout out SZA, you know? Shout out SZA. It was just amazing. She sounds so good live. Great experience, 10 out of 10. Also, I forgot how much I love this, especially just like to use as a bronzer or just to like create a little bit of contour in your face. My skin is doing really, really great, thank God. God, but I do have a little pimple right here, which I know is just from like eating sugar in Nashville. We went to Five Daughters Bakery and we had fries and like we just lived our best lives, you know? 
So that's, that's a tea on that. That's where I've been. I feel like I've not posted on here in a hot minute because I have been on TikTok. Like TikTok, if you guys don't know, I think I talked about it in my last video, but I, um, signed with a management agency. I guess at this point it was like two months ago or so. Also, I'm just using this merit stick. I've really not used this a whole lot, but I want to have like a little bit of coverage on my breakout and my nose because, you know, we need it there. But anyways, so I signed with a management agency, like I said, probably two months ago, around two months ago, that it was like officially signed. And so TikTok kind of became my full-time job. And by kind of, I mean like it became my full-time job. I love YouTube and obviously I started on YouTube, but making long form content is much more time consuming than obviously making short term or short, yeah, short term content. And I've just been enjoying doing it, but I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Like I always joke around. I'm like, N I have to go work. Okay. Film TikToks, but it's wild. It really is. But I love it. I've been enjoying it. I love the freedom that it comes with. Obviously, I'm still doing Fawn Beauty. But TikTok has been my main source of really everything. But I was like, I want to post more on YouTube just because I love it. And I feel like I miss that. Not even like I just miss filming it. I miss watching YouTube videos, like makeup videos, sit down videos, etc. That sort of thing. So like that's kind of what I'm going for. Also, um, I have been using the Sunkissed bronzer from, or the shade Sunkissed, the butter bronzer, and I love that, but I wanted to change it up, and so I pulled these two out. This one is not a bronzer, but you guys will be happy to know this actually is in stock. This is the shade 4N from Dior. You guys know that I love this. It's the almost powder, or the no powder. Yeah, no powder powder. And then I have this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I've used this one billion times. You guys have seen me use it. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to go with the Dior and then maybe, maybe mix the two. But the Sunkiss Bronzer just been, it's just not doing it for me. It just ain't doing it for me. And I want to be bronzed. I've been getting spray tans every week, which I know is like really extra. But like, first of all, let's be honest, it's me. Second of all, let's be honest. Why would I not want to get a spray tan? It makes me tan which gives me confidence, so it puts me in a better mood. So spray tan equals happiness, spray tan equals joy. Um, that's my math. <laughs> that's where I'm at. And so anyways, but the thing is, it's like it's so difficult to keep up with. It's like whenever you take a shower, you have to pat dry. You know, you can't just like be a normal person and wipe your body. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm an aggressive like dryer of my body. I ain't trying to like just, I'm trying to get dry quick. Like I hate to be dripping water all over the bathroom floor. It's not my, not my journey. And anyways, so that's my, that's my spray tan story. This is not showing up. Am I, is something going on? Something going on? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Use my trusty Charlotte Tilbury brush. I must have got something in my eye. But my face is pale and so it never matches my body. And so then I have to do darker makeup, which means I need to do like foundation or skin tan. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know? So. That's, that's where I'm at. Also, as per usual, dear Lord, what's going on? What's going on? I always, well, wait a second. I was about to lie. So sorry. I use my Patrick Ta blushes as a base. I just love a cream blush base. And I do like my base first and then I go in with my concealer. And I think that it looks truly the best. So I'm mixing the shade She's Blushing and She's So L.A., and just pop those on my cheeks. Also, side note, my hair looks so dark in this. I think it's just the lighting, but I got my hair tinted. I got a gloss with like a really auburn red gloss. First day, posted a TikTok, showed you guys my hair. It was like so auburn, everybody was living for it. Literally washed it, it's gone. Like fully gone. Like there's really no auburn tint left to my hair whatsoever, other than like what was already there naturally. And I was like, what the crap is going on? Like, why is my, why does, why is it, why is that, 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 that thing, you know? Okay, so anyway, mix those two. And then 
I go in with my Rare Beauty Under Eye Brighter in the shade Light Medium. Honestly, I could use this shade like above this that's a little bit darker because this is really light whenever I have a spray tan. But we're not going to complain about it. Also, I am such a fan of Alana Davidson. Like, I just think she's beautiful and stunning. And I've watched her on YouTube for, gosh, I don't even know how many years. So, she and her husband, that's so weird to say, but she and Dan literally just got married. And all of her wedding content, I'm just loving. Like, absolutely living for her wedding content. She looked beautiful. Her her makeup, yeah, her wedding makeup was so pretty. And then it got me thinking, I was like, she did her own makeup for her wedding, and like, I don't think I want to do that. But then again, I might. I don't know. <sighs> I know my face, obviously, and I know it looks good, but I want to just look like really good. And Brielle knows my face well enough. Like, she knows my face really well by now. And I just think that she can do something remarkable, and I'm like, pop off like do whatever you want make it look amazing you know so I don't know we'll see the time is not near so that's the base it looks flawless actually flawless we love and then I'm gonna go in with my let's see I'm gonna go in with this this is actually a shade I just picked up it's the shade she's wanted you guys, be so for real. Oh, okay. Patrick, you didn't have to go that hard. So anyway, I've been using this shade. This is also very, very similar to the shade Jam by Persona. I kind of just use either one. And I love like this little berry flush fall moment to have. And I've been using pink. Like I've used my blush palette for, oh my gosh. I don't know, since I first got my samples, like you guys know that I've used it a billion and ten times. So I'm trying to change it up for fall and use some like plummy shades, use some warm tones. But then like every time I do my makeup, I'm just like, you know what would look really good? Pink blush. Kind of set all that. I'm going to go in with powder today because I have lots of filming to do, like I said. So take my little powder puff. This looks kind of nasty, honestly. Maybe she needs cleaned. Take my little powder puff on my Sephora, Sephora, no, my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just powder everywhere to give a flawless stunning base. You guys don't even know how happy I am that it is the season of fall candles. Like, a few things in life get me excited like a dang fall candle, you know? You know? So... For eyes, this has been my go-to. I'm just going to go in with Costa Rich from MAC. Clearly, I put a fat dent in this because she's a baby pencil now. And also, can you use their lip liners on your eyes or is that not a thing? Because I know with Makeup Forever you can. And I'm like, I kind of want to use cork on my eyes. Like, they're very similar, but this one's just a little bit more chestnutty. I'm like, is that frown upon or can I do that? I don't really know. But anyways, let me know if you know. Let me know if you know. I don't want to get some like horrible infection, but I'll zoom you in for the eye portion so you guys can see what I'm doing. Anyways, so also I got PRP in my under eyes and it changed my life because I had really, really hollow under eyes and I would be so self-conscious and it's basically where they take your blood out and put it in a centrifuge and get all the plate platelet rich plasma and then inject it back into your body. Is it kind of morbid? Little, but it works really well. Also, I love this color for my eyes because it has like a reddish base. And if I don't line my eyelids, I just think it looks not weird, but it's like if I have a full face of makeup on and I don't line my eyelids or my waterline, I don't know why I'm saying eyelids. If I don't line it, it just doesn't look like I'm put together. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So then I take this little tiny angle brush. Is it going to focus? from Morphe and Ariel and smudge it which is so funny because I used to watch my mom do that whenever I was a little girl like smudge your eyeliner and she would use like the Rimmel ones that had the smudger on the end and I was like well, why is she smudging that like because crisp eyeliner was such a 
thing. Still is, but it's like depending on what kind of look you're doing. But I smudge that. I want it to look gorgeous and stunning. Then I'm going to take the angled brush and kind of just flick it out. The good thing with this is like because it is a really creamy pen oh my gosh because it is a really creamy pencil you can just kind of make it do whatever you want it to so if you want to have wings you can have wings if you want to leave it alone you can leave it alone like the world's your oyster you know then i'm going to take my charlotte this is not charlotte this is a tom ford honeymoon palette and i know that everybody's like oh my dear lord that's outrageous i am aware of this but if i had one palette to pick from my entire collection for the rest of my life it would probably be this one because the colors in it are really really flattering for my eye color and i just adore it so i'm gonna go in with these top two shades right here and i love that they are not matte like they have a really pretty glow to them and i just mix them put them on this fluffy brush and swirl it around you know cute that's literally it there is no rhyme or reason i just kind of blend it out make it look as good as i possibly can or want to you know it's all about whatever you want to do and then I'm going to take the same two shades and apply them on my lower lash line. Anyway, for the PRP, you have to get multiple treatments to it. So, I got one, and you're supposed to get like three rounds. But I'm like, dang, if I already saw that big of a difference after one, I cannot imagine three rounds of it, you know? So, I'm going to do liner in my upper waterline, which you guys know that I always... Do that, you can do brown or black, whatever your heart desires. I use the Persona ones because they're really, really dark. And they're almost like a coal liner, which I love. Because it just makes my life 100 times easier. So I do my upper waterline, and then I'm going to put on my mascara. For mascara, I have been loving this mascara. This is the Huda One Coat Wow mascara. So I'm going to do this, and then I'll be back, and we'll finish off with lips. And that'll be that. Okay, so I finished with the mascara, which you guys can see looks so good. I did the L'Oreal Telescopic on the bottom lashes just because I like a smaller wand for my bottom lashes. And here's what I'm going to do. I have been love, love, loving this Bobble and Rudy freckle pen. And I have been a hater of freckle pens for since they came out. Uh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. This though, the little ball tip, it's like a literally a ball tip. Like it's a very small ball. I love this i love it i think it's beautiful i think it's phenomenal it lets you create the smallest tiniest little marks on your face and i don't know what it is about it but i just make like tiny marks and then press them with my finger and it literally looks like i have freckles which makes it look like i have less makeup on which i really don't have much on anyway but it's just like oh like how cute is that like her little freckles are showing through they're not i don't have freckles well i do actually on my nose but also, I didn't get freckles till I was, like, in my 20s, which I think is really weird. Also, I'm about to be 25, so sensitive subject. But anyway, I love this. So if you're in the market for a freckle pen or just like, oh, I'm a hater of freckles, like, don't come in a 100-foot radius with a freckle pen, I do recommend trying this. Okay, so I need to do my lips. I bought the two new lip liners from MAC. Like I said, I got MAC Cork and I got MAC Whirl. And I've been loving Whirl. Like, I just think it's a really pretty fall shade. So, I'm going to line my lips with Whirl. Okay, so that's Whirl. And I just love that undertone. Like, I just think that's beautiful. I am going to mix in a little bit of Cork, though, just to give it, like, some dimension. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to mix in London, I think. Or is it Nude Truffle? Might be, yeah, it's Nude Truffle from NYX. This is such a beautiful shade. It's a little bit more of a cool tone. So I'm going to put it on the corners and like the bottom to create like a little bit of a contour. Yeah. I love that. That's really pretty. 
and I've been sitting here being like, okay, what's wrong with my makeup? Like something doesn't look right. I'm telling you, like I just have to go in with the blush palette every single time. It never fails. I mix all the shades together. There's just something about it. Like I'll show you. It just brightens my face. See how like that side just looks a little brighter, you know, a little brighter, a little better. All the things it just does. So I can't really help it. And I think I'm going to put in a, put on a little bit of lip oil, not a whole lot because I kind of want the look to be not necessarily matte. I'm going to use the shade no ma'am. Um, not necessarily like a matte, but I don't know, like satiny. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. So I did a little, a little dab. I do have a hair stuck. Got it. Okay. I think that's it. I think that is the final look. Let me back you guys up so you can see. But that is the final like filming day look. I don't know why my hair looks so dark, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know that it was my like, most random video, but it was like a little, let's try some makeup that I've been using for a thousand years. Let's see how it looks. Let's play around sort of vibe. So now I'm going to go film a Princess Polly haul, a Vici haul, a collective haul, film a sponsored video for Kosas. I have lots to do today. So I hope you guys, I, pardon, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.